and drips away Days burn disintegrate Years roll along and fade Don't let them slip away Right here, right now, today These are the good old days Right here, right now, today Hey, these are the good old days in 1985, right smack dab in the middle of the best era of Saturday morning cartoons, sugar cereals, and action figures, we got The Thundercats. A great television show released by Rankin and Bass and an action figure line accompanying that built by LJN, we got some super cool shows and toys. It was a mixture of science fiction and fantasy, kind of like He-Man, but they were cat alien people. It was just a beautiful show and great toys. Like every great toy line in the 80s, it centered around a central cast of characters. In this case, the six heroic Thundercats. Lionel, Panthro, Tigra, Chitara, Wily Kit, and Wily Cat. There were other supporting heroes and a wider range of villains, but these main heroes were the focal point of all the storytelling. Now later on in Season 2, we got some more Thundercats. We've got the addition of Linkso, Bengali, and Pumaira. And when they were released in action figure form, they were part of the elusive third wave. Now this third wave wasn't produced in the same high numbers as the original two, making any figure in this third wave kind of a rare grail in the Thundercats line. But also, some of the most sought after figures. Oftentimes, the rare and grail figures of a line are attached to figures that we didn't really want as kids, but are rare now. However, with these three Thundercats, Linkso, Pumaira, and Bengali. They were some of the coolest figures. To this day, Bengali is still my favorite Thundercat. So today, we're gonna to take a look at these three holy grails of the Thundercats, as well as the second edition of Wily Kit and Wily Cat, and Groon. <laughs> so this is what become of the Thundercats. Lionel! It's a ghost! And he knows who we are! So today we're going to look at these figures here, starting with Pumaira. Um, you can see she's got the thunder pox, which all these figures have when the plastic gets oxidized. Um, but super happy to have her in the collection. We're also going to look at Bengali, um, my favorite thunder cat, who's in great shape. He just needs his hammer. As well, we're going to look at Linkso, the blind thunder cat who uh, came in season two. He's in a little more rough shape, but uh, he is here, and I'm super happy to have him. In addition to those three figures, we are going to look at Wily Kit and Wily Cat, the second release, with the articulation, and uh, we're going to fix them up a little bit. And as well, we're going to look at Groon. Uh, what a beauty. Actually, let's start with Groon. So Groon here was a, uh, a villain for the Thundercats, and uh, he was Groon the Destroyer. And he came with two weapons. One was this uh, knuckle duster with spikes, as well as this war club. So let's go into the 3D space and see if we can't make them up. print that off and I am very happy with the way that this uh, war club turned out. We'll just give this to Groon here and it should just slide and snap right into his hand. He's being gentle with it here. There we go. And now we're just going to see if we can make him up this knuckle duster.
and again I'm super pumped with the way that turned out. That looks really nice. We'll just slip that into his hand and he's ready to wage war on any puny Thundercats he seems unfit to rule. Alright, now moving on, we could do a little history lesson here. So when Thundercats first came out, there was Lion-O, and then there was Tigra, and then there was Panthro, and then there was Chitara, and then there was a Wily Kitten, Wily Cat, and Snarf that were pack-in slug figures that were more accessories than figures. Lino then got a revamped head with red hair, and Tigra got a whole new sculpt to look more like the show. Snarf was released as an articulated figure, as well as the Wily Kitten Wily Cat. So we're going to take a look at that second release of Wily Kitten and Wily Cat. Um, they had articulation. They didn't have any action features, but they did, they did have these hoverboards. So we're going to do our best to recreate those today. Alright, and I'm very happy with the way these hoverboards turned out. And uh, if we did our job right, their feet should just slide underneath there. I made them just tight enough that their feet should hold them in there with pressure. And same thing with a wily cat here. Beautiful. Yeah, that's great. So the only thing now is these uh, I had some paint on them, so let's go and make up some paint and see if we can't uh, add the right kind of deco. Alright, after the first couple coats, they're looking pretty neat. We are now going to just add uh, a gloss kind of sealer so that they don't chip away and we should be good to go. And after all that, these hoverboards uh, look pretty great to me and I'm excited that we're finally having some and uh, they are going to look great in the display for Wily Kit and Wily Cat. Now moving on to Bengali, who's uh, my favorite Thundercat. When he was released, he came with the Hammer of Thundera, which was this kind of weapon slash blacksmith tool. And so we're going to do our best to make up a new version of that.
So now that we have the basics of the uh, skeleton of this hammer done, the design originally had a tiger's head on it, but the toy looked more like a fish. So I'm going to try to incorporate another classic 80s tiger into the design. Uh, Battle Cat has a history of being uh, reused and reused mold-wise, so I'm going to import a 3D scan of the mold and see if I can't incorporate it into this Thundercat's hammer. So here's our version of the Hammer of Thundera, and I'm super excited with the way that turned out. I think it looks awesome, and I love that Battle Cat has made a guest appearance here in the Thundercats. Ah, that's awesome. Next up is Linkso, and uh, his figure came with this weird shield, and we're going to do our best to make one up today. So here's our Linkso shield, and uh, came out nice, the design worked out well, it's the right size, it should just snap right into the wrist here. Beautiful. And I'm uh, just going to add some paint and she should be ready to go. Last but not least is Bumaira, and now her accessory was this sling, and it was kind of more arts and craftsy than it was just a molded piece of plastic. So the first step was to find some cord or string that would work for the uh, the rope, and so I found this uh, vinyl twine, and that seems to be the right color and the right thickness and the right uh, material. So I bought 150 meters of it because I need six inches of it. And as far as the sling goes, I was going to make one out of like a, a mild of plastic, but I thought, nah, I'll just make up a quick design and print it off real thin and mold it to hot water and it'll keep shape on the shelf. So 
here's the sling all printed up. And I'm just gonna submerge it into this just boiled water so it gets all bendy and I can shape it into, uh, into its position. I'm gonna wanna take it out, uh, mold it around this uh, black pen here. And that way it'll kind of hold its uh, shape and make it look naturally like a sling. So I'm just gonna pull it out here. Oh, don't drop it. Try that again. Let's pull it out here and then I'm gonna mold it around this pen. Give it a nice round shape. There we go. And those holes should line up properly if I did my job right. Ah, beautiful. So now we're just gonna take this and take our uh, cord that we got. And we're gonna run our cord through there and make up our little sling. There we go. I think that looks great for Pumira's sling. She can uh, slap it into her hand here, and then she's ready to go and uh, kill Goliath, I guess. So there you go, there's our take on some new accessories for Pumaira, Linkso, Bengali, the Thunder Kittens, and Groon as well. If you had as much fun as we did today, if you like what we're doing, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. If you want to support us on Patreon, you can. Leave a comment, I love reading those. But mostly, I just hope to see you back here for the next video.